Hey Aquas, welcome to your December reading. This is a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Horizon. Please guys, bear in mind this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. If you would like a personal reading, you can purchase one via my website. Okay, now let's see here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Five of Pentacles is the first card. Okay. Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and let's say the Six of Wands. All right, so oof, a lot of stuff is happening. I feel like you guys, you know, you're trying to make shit happen, but you got too much going on with the Seven of Cups. And also with the Five of Pentacles, it's like you feel like you're fighting for a lost cause or it's like, oh my God, this is never going to end or like, oh my God, it's always going to backfire at me. You know, I put my work and effort into this and then what, you know, failure. No, don't do that. Okay, we have the devil lurking at the Queen of Pentacles here. So you could be still stuck on an old relationship that's not going anywhere. But I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with you know, changing how you look at life, changing how you look at what you manifest. Because this one is like, you know, um, it's like, I feel like you guys want to get out of a limbo with love. You want to get out of a limbo with, you know, getting a job, getting an internship, looking at other prospects. You want to examine the options, but the problem is that you feel like there are no options, I feel, with the Queen of Pentacles here. And you want to make the right choice. So it's about choices with you guys. Being appreciated with the Six of Wands here. There can be here. Now, let's see. We have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energies. It can be related with these people. If it's a love, love energy for you. But I feel like either you want them to make a choice... Or you're the one who has to make the choice here. But there's something here about growth that you're not sure that it's going to grow. Because this person could be still clinging on to somebody else, somebody toxic. Or you want the devil to go away. You want this person to go away so that you can nurture the connection with somebody else. Because I feel like whoever this is that's still like present energetically is like... They're very self-centered. They love attention. They love the applause. They... It's all about them, okay? And I feel like you want something different now. Others of you who are looking for jobs, who are, you know, trying to make changes in your financial uh, areas, um, looking out, look out of your comfort zone, okay? Look out of your comfort zone with this four of pentacles here. You gotta let it loose a bit, you know, be more wide, in terms of what you want to do, which direction you want to take. And I feel like the universe is going to guide you. We're going to see. But I feel like you're going to be guided towards a certain direction. A direction that's going to have a success. Okay? Now, also, some of you have maybe had like a recent accomplishment of some sort. Or maybe you traveled somewhere recently or someone traveled to see you. And there was like a... With love, it's like I feel like it was a false start. Or like somebody gave you false hope. You know, they showed up and you thought, okay, they're coming back. We're getting back together, but not really. They just wanted attention. All right. So let's see here for Aquarius. The theme of the month is the Four of Swords. Okay. Rest, relax, and mind your words. Snakes are about, so, you know, what I do love about this snake here is that it talks about spiritual transformation. It talks about you, you know, maybe in the past you were impulsively responding to messages. Maybe you were, you know, quick to judge people or like quick to cut people out of your life. But it's like, I feel like this is changing. You're being more... It's like, it's okay, you know? Maybe this situation broke the shit out of my heart. Or maybe this person, you know, like they really hurt me. Or the jobs never played out. It was always like the same old, the same old. But now I know what not to do this time around. I know now what I want to change. If that makes any sense to you. Maybe, maybe. 
Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's a very calming energy though. You're mentally bringing yourselves towards stability. That's good. And it's like, you know, whatever comes in, these past people, if they return, or like if there's conflict at work, at your studies, uh, whatever you're doing with your partner, spouse, children, it's like, you're gonna be more tactical. Because your experiences have led you, now you're going through a transformation here, you're not even aware of it. You wanting to get out of the confusion and you wanting to know which direction you wanna take is part of your spiritual growth itself. And this is something you may, not, may have not had in the past. See, we have the Ten of Pentacles that's coming towards you. First card, right off the bat. So I told you guys, you know, get out of your comfort zone and you're gonna find treasure there. With relationships, there could be a Virgo that's coming in. For the others of you, this is with work. There's a jackpot, there's like a gold mine coming in. Others of you, this could be a promotion or some sort of a family event where everything's gonna get resolved or you're gonna resolve your family issues. We have the justice. See, there's an apology, Libra energy here. There's an apology that's happening. Also, you guys, see? You wanna keep your balance. You wanna keep your shit together. You wanna be calm. You wanna have your approach like, you know, one step at a time. No decision is going to be made until I don't see all of the options. Seven of Cups. Until I don't... If, until I don't make sure what's in all of these cups. This can be with love. This can be with whatever. But I'm telling you here, with love, there's a potential for a commitment for those of you who are single. For those of you who are coupled, there's a potential for improving things, okay? If both of you are willing to, to honestly discuss everything with each other, okay? But with the justice, I see you guys being super chill, really. It's like, you know, but also I'm hearing for some of you, karma's a bitch and I'm karma today, bitch. I'm sorry, I didn't want to say that, but it just came to me now because of her face, you know? It's like she's bringing the Ace of Swords, ready to cut some bullshit, and then she's carrying the scales. I came to make things right. I came to fight for my stability. I came to make my decision. See? Eight of Wands, Sagittarius also. So there is somebody here that's trying to make things grow with you emotionally maybe financially maybe family wise they're trying to repair mother maybe but somebody's trying to repair the communication someone's trying to you know but there's a lot of conflict that i'm seeing that that can be happening because this person is still keeping their old ways this queen of pentacles okay you do see here that there's a lot of redness around it's for me um a lot of anger and resentment Somebody is still holding a grudge here about something that has happened. Even if you're trying to make things right, just be careful of that. But the others of you, I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of, you know, improvements. And action, a lot of action. If you're expecting job offers, if you're expecting emails for interviews, this is also coming in. Now we have the sun, so you're afraid to face the Gemini or a Leo. Others of you, you're afraid that whatever this is that needs to be cut off, that it's gonna bring you happiness. No, 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 no. You're cutting one thing off and there's this other thing that you're scared of pursuing. So it could be two career choices, one that your family thinks you should be doing or the, like the one that is right, and there's another one that you wanna go for. But I feel like you guys are afraid of happiness. You're afraid of you know, showing courage, following your passions. And it, that's why the Four of Swords, it's, like, it's a bit of a passive energy here. But I feel like this is okay for now, because now I feel like whatever this is, the Justice and the Ten of Pentacles, this is something that is more urgent to be dealt with right now. Like, it's not the perfect time for great endeavors and, like, ooh, ooh, well, this is interesting. 
Oh, I'm sorry for that. The cards went crazy. Let's see here. Yeah, definitely some of you are letting go of a fire sign. Okay. You're healing from a fire sign. So it's like, I feel like you guys, whoever this attention seeker is and whoever this person, people are or like energies are, it's like, isn't it not the only thing that's going to make you happy? Just be, that's all I'm going to tell you for now. Because I feel like this sun... Don't be afraid of happiness. Don't be afraid of new things, new beginnings. Don't be afraid of speaking your truth, shedding the light on bullshit. Because you're the magician. I love it when we end the reading like this, okay? This is getting out of your fears because this one is fearful. Salvador Dali is being fear fearful here. Fearful, fearful. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, uh, you see here that there's like a piece missing. I always talk about it, but... I gotta, because it's my favorite magician ever. He's scared, he's got a lot of passion, he's got a lot of, you know, things that he can offer, you know, a lot of things that he can manifest. The only thing that's blocking him is his own head and his own prison here, right? So I do feel like you guys are gonna enter into the new year more focused on manifesting. Now it's more about, you know, examining, analyzing, figuring your shit out, resolving conflicts from the past, getting rid of the people from the past, communicating issues, resolving things, and then it's like it's going to be more about putting yourselves out there, okay? So thank you, Aquarius, so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.